Levoit Core 300 Air Purifier Review. In this video, we are going to review the Levoit Core 300 Air Purifier. I'll leave a link to it in the description below this video if you want to check it out. We will cover the following topics. 1. Unboxing. We will show you what this air purifier comes with. 2. Changing the filter. We will show you how to change the filter. 3. Overview. We will tell you the benefits of this air purifier. 4. Operation and loudness test. We will show you how this air purifier works and how loud it is. And 5. Review. We will tell you if we think this air purifier is worth purchasing. Let's get started. 1. Unboxing. This air purifier comes with the air purifier, a true HEPA three-stage filter, a quick start guide, and a user manual. 2. Changing the filter. The original air filter is stored inside of the unit. Before you can run the air purifier for the first time, you must remove the plastic packaging it comes in. To change the filter, first flip the air purifier over so that the bottom faces up. Then turn the filter cover counterclockwise. The filter cover simply twists off. Next, pull the bagged air filter out of the body of the air purifier. Then remove the filter from its plastic packaging. Next, place the filter back into the bottom of the air purifier with the filter's handle facing up toward you. Place the filter cover back onto the bottom of the air purifier and turn it clockwise until it locks into place. Finally, place the air purifier back in its upright position on a flat surface and plug it into an electrical outlet. 3. Overview The Lavoid Core 300 air purifier uses a three-stage filtration system. The first stage is a pre-filter. It's great at capturing dust, lint, fibers, hair, and pet fur. The second stage true HEPA filter is great for removing small airborne particles such as mold spores and allergens such as pollen, dander, and mites. The third stage is a carbon filter, which handles smoke, odors, VOCs, and fumes. 4. Operation and Loudness Test The control panel on the top of the air purifier is very easy to use. The power button is in the middle. Let's press it. It's on the low speed now, identified by the Roman numeral 1. It's very quiet on this setting. Take a listen. If I press the fan icon button, I can cycle through the three speeds of the air purifier. The medium speed is a little louder, but very tolerable. If I press the fan symbol icon button again, we go into high speed. This is the loudest speed. To me, it sounds like a small fan running on medium. I actually find it quite relaxing. If we press the moon symbol, we go into sleep mode, which is incredibly quiet. Good for people who like to sleep in a room with little to no noise. There's a timer button. If you press it, you can cycle through different timer lengths from two to four to six to eight hours. After the chosen time, the air purifier shuts off. There's a lock button. If you press and hold it for three seconds, the air purifier will go into lock mode. In lock mode, you can't change the settings on the air purifier accidentally, even if you tap the buttons. Press and hold the lock button again for three seconds, and the purifier becomes unlocked, and pressing the buttons will change settings. In addition, there's a display button. If you press it, the lights on the display will turn off, but the air purifier will keep working. Good for those who like to sleep in a completely dark room. Finally, there's a check filter indicator. 
When it lights up, you should change the filter, usually every six to eight months, which is reasonable in my opinion. After you replace the filter, press and hold the check filter indicator button for three seconds and it will reset. To extend the life of your filter, the outer pre-filter can be vacuumed every two to four weeks. Five, review. We really like this air purifier. It's compact and stylish. It does a good job of purifying the air. It's quiet and has a lot of features that we really like. Its three-stage true HEPA filter works great in rooms up to 219 square feet. The only reason you may not want to buy this air purifier is if you want to use it in a much bigger open space. In that case, you may want to look for a more powerful unit, like this one from Honeywell. I'll leave a link to it in the description below this video. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.